Let's discuss Psalm 137.9, one of those imprecatory psalms. One of those psalms where the Jews are being happy are they who take your children and dash them against the stones. Speaking about the Jews' enemies. I personally love the psalm. Now let's investigate it. God is supposed to be inspiring every word of this book. And God never condemned them for praying this oh, when, prayer. Oh, when? Oh, they were treated so badly by the infants. <laughs> and dashes them, says this, within the deconstruction 37.9. And you probably heard it uh, that really caused me to question the Bible. With Psalm 137.9. And you probably heard it It's a popular one that is used within the deconstruction community to really talk about these atrocities in the Bible. And it says this. Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Now, it is really important to understand the context of this verse. This is what's known as an imprecatory prayer. Um, it is praying evil against your enemies. It is a lamentation. It is an expression of grief. Basically, what this psalmist is writing is uh, about how they were treated so badly by their enemies, and so they want to repay them for what they've done. Amen. And this is often justified by Christians in this way. You know, well Screw how Christians justify it. I'm going to justify it my damn way. Look. If the government seizes my property, sends tough, badass federal agents, G-men, and they seize my beloved property, which I love, was me, property which was passed down to us from my great, 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 great grandfather, which I love more than most people in this world anyways. If the government seizes this property because, especially... Because I have a friend over, and this friend, unbeknownst to me, brings a little drugs and leaves it. And the government seizes my property in their greed. Because, you know, the government can seize your property from drugs. And they don't listen, listen to my pleas. But that was not my drugs. Take the fingerprints, you see. I didn't know my friend had drugs. They said, you... They they say those demons say heartlessly to me, you should. That's what you get for hanging around the wrong crowd. Or they say to me, oh, you get that guy to confess to his drugs, that he left those drugs, we won't seize your property. Government people like this. After they seize my property and leave me crying, they take me. They they take my private property and I am powerless. I hate feeling powerless. To take I am powerless to take it from them. You damn right if the earthquake strikes and their house falls in their crack and they witness their wife, one of these these one of these tough badass G men who talk down to me, if he has to witness his wife and child in excruciating agony because one of the beans has felt fallen on her legs and her child, little baby crying, screaming in terror as he's about to slip into the crack and be and die. You damn right. Hallelujah. I want that to happen. I need the I need the vindication and I need the validation. I need ain't karma a bitch. You took something from me that I love preciously. Now you get to lose something you love preciously. And that little child Oh Chris, that little child is innocent. And that wife. No they're not. They love the G Man. This G Man is my enemy. They love my enemy. So let them all die and God sort them out. All I care is about what makes me happy. What makes those I love happy. And then the, what makes those who love me happy. Damn right. I love this song. Like the children. Making fun of the prophet Elisha. Go up thou bald head. Go up thou bald head. He caught, cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two she bears came and ripped the shit out of the 42 of them. I love that. I wish I had that power. There would be a lot of bears tearing a lot of people up today. You know, well, they were just expressing themselves. They weren't actually bashing babies into rocks. They just yes, they were. Yes, they were. They wanted justice. They wanted revenge. But my problem... I demand revenge, too. The problem with that is that this is supposed to be the inspired word of God. God is supposed to be inspiring every word of this book. And God never condemned them for praying this prayer. I never said, there. Don't, don't think that way. Don't, don't be 
be so vengeful. Don't be so angry. Don't don't wish for the harm of innocent babies. I agree with you there. God never once condemned them for feeling this way. No, this is this is perfectly fine in Chris God's eyes. This is perfectly fine in the eyes of Christians today who defend it and justify it. But Jesus came and he said, turn the other cheek. Love those who hate you. Do good to your enemies. That is in complete contradiction with... Yeah. But what happens to Jesus as his enemies if they don't get saved and become his friends? Jesus gets to have the satisfaction of watching them burn forever in hell and the lake of fire. So it's easy for Jesus. It be it would be easy for me to love my enemies too if I knew one day there was coming a day of reckoning and they didn't kiss my ass. They I I would get to personally torment them in hell. It says they shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the angels and of the Lamb. Yeah, 